a mascot turned thief over the weekend, according to a Fort Wayne police report. Officers say a Bob Evans mascot swiped several cell phones from members of a teenage dance team during their performance at a Man Ants game. News Channel 15's Adam Widener joins us from Studio 15 tonight with more on the theft and the unique way the suspect was caught. Well, the father of one of the teen girls found the mascot all by using the GPS tracker on the stolen iPhone. Although the phones have been returned, the disappointed dad says the young girls lost more than just a possession. It's great that we recovered the property. Unfortunately, I think we lost some innocence. It all started when Tom Strait's 12-year-old daughter's iPhone was stolen, along with three others. According to a police report, all from a dance team's locker room at the Coliseum. Once Strait found the stolen phone using its GPS tracker, he called police and met an officer at the 1900 block of Webster Street. There, they found 23-year-old Andrew Marks. Unfortunately, we got a bad egg and uh, he's been caught. After questioning, the report says the officer told Marks he would not be charged if he returned the phones. So Marks returned the four phones valued at a total of $1,900. Mad Ants President Jeff Potter calls it an unfortunate incident. We have never had an, an issue there. We've got a number of police back there, as you can imagine, with the officials, with the other team. So it's something that we've got to look into and basically make sure it doesn't happen again. Still straight is pointing the blame at what he calls poor security for the dance team at the Mad Ants game. We didn't have a protocol in place that allowed us to be as safe as we thought we were. And the only way to, to stop the, the things that have gone on in our city lately, someone's got to stand up. Somebody's got to say enough is enough. We want to do what's right and be an example for our kids. At this point, Marx has not been charged. The dad is working with the prosecutor's office to change that. And by the way, as of this morning, Marx is no longer employed with Bob Evans. Live in Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.